Rapper and musician traveling the world for gold Some daddies made of plastic and some other things I love Won't you come along with me, there's no time for rejection Hold on tight, such a delight, it's Brian's Wrestling Collection Collection Me, 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 me New York City Madison Square Garden, the Mecca. To be anybody, you gotta, you know, anybody who's anybody has performed at the Garden. Which I guess, in a sense, makes me nobody, because I haven't performed there. But, my dad has. Garden, such a historic venue. We're gonna find the Manhattan Center next. Alright, we're just across the street from the Manhattan Center, which was where Monday Night Raw started in 1993. My dad and Dwayne Gill, Dwayne wrestled many, many of matches there. You guys remember Shawn Michaels and Mr. Perfect fighting out front here, or Bobby Heenan getting kicked out the front door here. Such awesome stuff. The Manhattan Center in New York City. Hey guys, what's up? It's Brian Hardy and welcome to another episode of Brian's Wrestling Collection. And today here on the show, we've got, well, I would say just one of the greatest mouthpieces in pro wrestling of all time. One of the greatest managers of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are unboxing Bobby the Brain Heenan, Series 7 WWE Legends. Listen up, humanoids, to the champions he managed. The patriarch of the Heenan family was the brain, but the WWE Universe had a name more fitting for a man of his character, the Weasel. In 1988, after Ultimate Warrior destroyed Heenan, who stepped out of his managerial comfort zone and into the ring as a competitor, he dressed the unconscious Bobby in a full-size weasel suit, which is what he's got going on here. As you can see, I tried to rip off the sticker from Ollie's. It wasn't very successful. $12.99 for this figure at Ollie's, which was pretty cool. Um, I did find a video on TikTok that my wife had sent to me earlier today that showed you how if you were purchasing a gift for somebody from Ollie's this year, I think it was Ollie's that actually posted it, how you could just take a hair dryer to the tag and peel the price tag off. Good to know, because I didn't know that for all these years. So, um, Man... Bobby the Brain Heenan, what a legendary character, what a legendary, you know, manager. So many greats over the years. Of course, most people will probably know him for managing Andre the Giant. Um, but this weasel outfit, man, is so freaking cool. Um, I probably am going to take the weasel outfit off of him, and I'll just put the weasel outfit away. But underneath, he's got the old school Bobby Heenan singlet going on under there, so... Just, man, you could say a million different things about this guy, a million different memories and and all that kind of stuff, and he definitely is missed. Um, my son actually got a picture with him uh, not too long before he had passed away uh, in Philadelphia at the Icons of Wrestling convention that I was doing uh, back in, I don't know, what was it, like 2016 or something like that. And uh, yeah, so R.I.P. Bobby the Brain. There's one of the best right there. But we couldn't do this episode and unbox Bobby the Brain without going back into that little bio that I just read and unboxing Series 98 Ultimate Warrior. He knew he's coming after you. So um, I thought it would be cool to just have these two on a shelf next to each other. Maybe I'll end up putting the weasel outfit in the warrior's hands. But uh, this is a cool figure that when I saw, I could not pass it up. So, yeah, so now we've got Heenan and Warrior right there. Boom. This should actually be the screen cap right here. Like, perfect. Um, but yeah, talk about just awesomeness. Anybody that remembers these memories, whew. These are, these are funny times. They used to actually do these on a bunch of different house shows um, where he would put the you know weasel outfit on Heenan. So, yeah, this is cool. Uh, the detail on the back. This is just a basic figure. So, uh, I still, I don't know why, but I always think that WWE does fantastic jobs 
with uh, the Ultimate Warrior figures, no matter whether they're elite or whether they are basic. Um, and same thing goes for like the Macho Man Randy Savage figures. I really do like the job that they do with Macho Man all the time. So um, I don't know. You like a you like a certain uh, you know WWE gimmick character, whatever. They so you just don't care you know whether the figures are basic or whether they're elite you just kind of like the different color schemes they got going on and stuff and this is definitely the case here with this warrior figure so all right guys um i think in the beginning of the video i just posted um you just see me in new york city this past weekend um walking around with my family and stuff but i got to see madison square garden for the second time in person uh the first time was like 2014 um and then the manhattan center so and what historic buildings you know how awesome and more importantly than that just absolutely uh cool memories for my family i mean my dad was on the very first monday night raw at um the manhattan center it was him and gilberg as the executioners against the steiner brothers um and my dad's wrestled madison square garden too uh in the executioner gimmick with Dwayne gill against the head shrinkers and stuff like that so just so much wrestling history so much great stuff over the years and uh, i was glad that i was able to get a little tiny clip of both of those uh you know videos so guys this has been another episode of brian's wrestling collection thank you so much for watching and this isn't going to be the end this week because we've got more stuff coming for you so stay tuned and until next time keep on slamming